Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I am so excited to have you guys here with me today. Today we're marking the beginning of our How to Become a Better Version of Yourself series. And in today's video, I will be talking about how we can build our self-esteem and how not to allow our flaws determine what we can and what we cannot do. But before we proceed, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so you get notified whenever I post new content and please give this video a big thumbs up and don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section. Alright, so let's go to it. You want the best in my heart, you just gotta see the good in me. Okay, so many of us want to become better versions of ourselves, especially those of us that have made mistakes in the past and we're like you know what i want to just move past this start a new chapter of my life and um trust me you're not the only one i too i have experienced that before and um and to, and to become a better version of ourselves we first of all have to build our self-esteem and this is especially to those of us who have low self-esteem low self-esteem is actually common in teenagers i mean I used to have low self-esteem before, but I decided to work on that and I am now a completely different person. So I'm basically like sharing this thing with you. Okay, so <laughs> like I said, we all want to be good, you know, better version of ourselves and to do that, we need to build our self-esteem. So like first, what is self-esteem? Self-esteem is the evaluation of yourself by yourself emphasis on by yourself because it's how much you appreciate yourself how you value yourself now there is a difference between self-esteem and self-confidence self-confidence is under self-esteem like it's under the umbrella of self-esteem self-confidence is how much you believe in your abilities how much you believe in yourself to achieve a goal and the same way you know until when you appreciate yourself you would believe in yourself. We so now that we know the difference between self-esteem and self-confidence, there is something that I would like to point out. There is a very thin line between arrogance and high self-esteem. I mean, arrogance is basically when somebody believes he or she is above mistake. You literally feel like you can't make mistake, you cannot be correct, and that is where you are wrong. No matter how much you have a high self-esteem nobody is above mistake i mean nobody and aside from that you should always you should learn to mix self-esteem with modesty you know because another thing about self-esteem is you appreciate yourself right you appreciate yourself so you should appreciate yourself so much as to learn to correct your mistakes we good we good all so right. <laughs> all right okay so now like many of us have low self-esteem i mean it's something that is common among teenagers and i personally am speaking from experience so um but low self-esteem isn't just cost i mean it doesn't just develop one day i mean it's caused by environment it's caused by the people we surround ourselves with and that is a very important factor the people you surround yourself with i mean if you surround yourself with people that have negative tongues, I mean, you always seen the video of negative tongues. I call them negative tongue people. Anyway, if you surround yourself with those kind of people, when they say negative things to you, I mean, to you or about you, it becomes like something that you start to believe. I mean, if someone says you're not amazing and the person keeps on saying it over and over and over again, it gets to a time that you're like, I'm not an amazing person. And you yourself begin to believe that. Like you begin to believe the fact that you are not amazing. Meanwhile, you are one of the most amazing people in the world. So, so that's the thing. Like, I remember growing up, I was a really like, small kid. And you know, even though people always try to make comments like, oh god you could easily break things like that it still got to me and since then i always believed that i was a very fragile kid until some years back i was like because people say i'm fragile doesn't mean i'm fragile 
there, there's so much that I can do even with my size so um so I decided to just push all those negative comments aside and I began to speak positively to myself okay so this now brings me to how to build your self-esteem I mean it takes patience like I said earlier it takes patience it takes time it takes consistency it takes you know determination to be able to build your self-esteem but don't forget that this is a foundation to you becoming a better person to build your self-esteem the first thing is to get a piece of paper and write down the negative things you feel about yourself like what are <clears throat> the, negative, the flaws what are the things that you do not like about yourself you know um, as a first and the second thing is to get another piece of paper and write down the positive things about yourself note that these positive things are your strengths they these are your strengths that you are going to work hard so that they do not become <coughs> negative now the third thing is to surround yourself with positive people like i said before negative tongued people have a way of bringing you down and that is because you would want I mean, no matter what that is because you would want to you know um you want to get their approval so much to the point that they will literally become become the ones controlling your life how when a negative tongue person talks so much you know say so many negative things to you you would want to please that person you would want to you know at least receive praise from that person but believe you me it might not happen like it might not happen so you need to push the kind of people aside you need to push them their thoughts their everything just push it aside and can fill yourself with positive people people who always speak good to you who would always speak good about you whenever you're not there whenever you're there you know what i'm trying to say because at this moment you're like a baby you know a baby needs to surround itself with warmth so you know you surround yourself with good food nutrition so many things so it will go well so basically you are like that and <clears throat> you are not at the stage when you can deal with these negative tongued people now you need to feed yourself with positive people and their words now the fourth thing is to give yourself a break i mean stop criticizing yourself it's like stop it stop it nobody is perfect i am not perfect you are not perfect even the person who seems to be perfect isn't perfect like i said we all have our flaws and that shouldn't determine what we can and what we cannot do it shouldn't it shouldn't in any way so give yourself a break stop blaming yourself stop insulting yourself do you know like this is a common habit among many of us like we criticize ourselves in front of people giving them a negative opinion about ourselves and literally you are giving them the door to speak negative about you to bring you down because you yourself are bringing yourself down and that it's not it you speak positive about you speak positive things about yourself when you meet new people when you're with your friends so they would look up to you and you know it's what you want people to see that they will see if you reflect positivity they will see positivity and they will give you back positivity now the fifth thing fifth okay the fifth thing <laughs> is to take on challenges now this is the time that you're going to look at the negative things you feel about yourself and you're going to take on challenges to challenge them if you feel i mean if you feel you're not smart who told you you're not smart go and do something that you know will make you feel smart i'm sorry i don't know <laughs> if you feel you're not who told you you are not pretty enough to rock red lipstick go and try it on and judge by yourself who told you you're not pretty enough to wear that nice necklace to rock that hairstyle who told you you somebody try it take on challenges this is the time to step out of your box and challenge yourself to see how far you can go we good i really do hope 
you guys are really listening i really do hope i am reaching out to you all now the final my final point is learn to stand up for yourself do not sit down in the corner and watch people talking nonsense about you do not sit down in the corner and watch people putting you down i do not mean you're gonna start a fight though don't start fight though i'm just saying that you know you should speak up for yourself let them know like why are you talking about me like that who told you i am not smart enough to do it who told you i am not responsible enough to do it i can do it i can do it one thing i know i always did for myself in developing my self-esteem was whenever i wake up in the morning i look in the mirror and i'm like damn you are one fine piece of cake you know i always praise myself so like i praise myself and as time went on a lot of people say who told you you're fine i'm like i told myself i'm fine and what are you going to say about it when people see that when people see when they sense that they know okay she then they know that this is somebody that you cannot talk down on this is somebody that loves herself she appreciates herself and they too will learn to appreciate you all right so a quick pointer self-esteem motivates you and determines how far you would go if you are able to build your self-esteem you are good you are good like i said before your flaws do not determine whether or not you can do something you know your flaws don't determine whether or not you can become great in life your flaws are just in fact what i believe is our flaws are there to identify us yes there are some flaws that you would want to work on and i'm encouraging to work on it and i'm not and i'm encouraging to work on it not because you want to impress people but because of yourself work on your flaws for yourself because of what you want to gain not because of what other people because of you want to praise you want other people to praise you no no do not do that okay so thank you guys so much for watching i really appreciate you guys i love the fact that you guys really listen to me and all that and um thank you guys for and like i said i would be supporting you and joining you on your journey to become a better version of yourself and i would be also using myself as a case study so thank you guys for watching again please do not forget to subscribe and give this video a big thumbs up hit the notification bell please do it now do it now please okay thank you guys so much i will be waiting to hear your comments in the comments section i love you guys don't forget mwah, mwah.